can't keep food down. See? Lady Masako, do you have news of your family's killers? On the list we found, Sada was at the top. He's the head man of Kuta Farmstead. Kuta's people served your clan. Why would he turn against you? Because he is an ungrateful traitor. My husband appointed Sadao as headman, and he repaid that kindness with bloodshed. I learned he fled Kuta the night my family was murdered. He must have heard you survived. Sadao is a deceitful snake. But his brother, Hachi, is a fool. He just passed by the temple carting food for the refugees. He will make an unscheduled delivery to his brother. And we will be there to catch him. We have to go, or we will lose him. After what happened at the inn, I didn't think you'd visit the temple again. I came to watch for Sadao's brother, and mourn Clan Adachi's dead. Have you given your family a proper funeral? Not while their killers walk free. After my father died, I said goodbye to him that same night. It helped ease my pain. I buried them. That will have to do. For now. When's the last time you slept, or ate? I had some rice and fish yesterday. Even the youngest warrior needs a full belly and a rusted sword arm. Are you calling me old, Lord Sakai? <laughs> I wouldn't dare. My sword arm works just fine. We should have caught up to Hachi by now. Which way do you think he went? Both roads look traveled. Let's search the area. He can't be far. Masako, look. The man with the cart. That's Hachi, Sado's brother. Did I touch everything? Where's that stupid? Oh, ah, there it is. Oh, all right. He's but leaving. Good. And we will follow. Close, but out of sight. Behave yourself, Ringo. Or no carry for you when we're done. to Mongols, my old friend. You're on your own. He has visitors. We can't let them see us. Water? Other things? Sure. Uh, of course. We will promise 
Not yet, but I have something for your guest. It's a meeting. We'll pass it along. He handed them a note. I'll stop here again at the usual time. We'll meet you there. Forget the wagon. Follow those horses. That man is an idiot. He's the headman's brother. Still an idiot. But he has good sake. Not today. Today all he had was a note. <laughs> that note is more important than your life. If we fail to deliver, the headman will kill us. So those are famine. <laughs> From a bad family. His cousins are bandits. Remember the riots that erupted when Kuta farmstead was sold on rice? Who do you think hired the bandits that slaughtered the protesters? Headman Sadal. The coward. I knew it. Right. So next time you think of the headman, remember the Kuta massacre. Woodcutter's house, guarded by bandits. Sadao's cousins. He must be hiding there. We don't know that. But we will soon find out. Come here and fight! That fear I see in your eyes. Corpses can't answer questions. There's someone in the house. I'll make them talk. Let me try first. A note from Sado. I'm not going to hurt you. My name is Saka. Who are you? Hina, Sada's wife. My husband is innocent. The Mongols killed your family. Where is he? I, I don't know. You're lying. She'll help us. And she can't stay here. I'll take her to my estate. 
She is going to kill me. No harm will come to you. <laughs>